Okay, let's go ahead and do an example of a mixture word problem. And I like to make a chart to organize the information. It helps me um, come up with my equations a little bit easier. Okay, it says you need a 45% alcohol solution. On hand, you have 90 milliliters of a 10% alcohol mixture, and you also have 55% alcohol mixture. How much of the 55% mixture will you need to add to obtain the desired solution? So Sync6 asking how much of the 55% mixture, that's what we're gonna set one of our variables to. So we're gonna be looking for X. It's gonna be the amount of the 55% solution in milliliters. Whoops. Okay, so that's gonna be here. Now, if we re read the problem again, it says, for the first solution, we have 90 milliliters, and that is 10% alcohol. The second solution, they don't tell us how much we have. That's what we need to find, so we're calling that X, and they're telling us for that solution, it's 55% alcohol, so let me label that. Now, we want to end up with, according to the problem, right here it says you need 45% alcohol solution. So I want my final solution when I mix the two together to be 45%. Now the problem doesn't tell us what the final solution is, so I'm gonna label that another variable. We'll call it Y. Y is the amount of the final solution in milliliters. All right, so now we can use this information now that we have it organized um, to create our two equations. We got two unknowns, so we need two equations to solve this. So if I add up the amount of all my solutions, I should get a total of y because I'm gonna add solution one, solution two, and when I add those up, I should get the amount y, whatever that is. So that's gonna be my first equation. 90 plus x is equal to y, and that is the equation that represents the amount of milliliters. Now, for the percentage of alcohol, for this column, I can come up with another equation. If I take 10% of 90 and I add it to 55% of X, that should give me 45% of Y. So there's my second equation in terms of percentages. Now I've got two equations and two unknowns. One of my equations is already solved for y, so I'm going to use the substitution method since it's already set up to do that. So I'm going to take, and everywhere I see y in the second equation, I'm gonna replace y with 90 plus x. And now I have one equation that I can solve for x. So when I multiply 0.10 times 90, that gives me 9. Now I have to distribute my 0.45. So when I take 0.45 times 90, that's going to give me 40.5. And when I take 0.45 times x, that gives me 0.45x and keep going and solve for x, I'm gonna subtract nine from both sides, and that's gonna give me 31.5 on the right, and then I'm gonna subtract 0.45x from both sides, and that's gonna give me a 0.10x on the left. And now when I divide both sides by 0.10, 
that's going to give me 315. And remember what that x represents. If we come back up here and look to see how we defined x, x was the amount of the 55% solution. So that means there's 315 milliliters of the 55% solution. Now, if we want to figure out how much of the final solution we would have, we would just take 315 and add it to the 90, and we would get 